Hey guys, Josh here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be making a guide on how to remove the annoying red LEDs on the Creative Sound Blaster Z sound card. So, without a doubt, let's get into it. So for some reason, Creative thought it'd be a good idea to put two very bright LEDs on the top and bottom of this sound card to illuminate like the uh, uh, sound uh, 3D sound core here and everything. But um, it doesn't do that at all. It actually does the opposite and gets in your eyes and it's a very bright light. And uh, the way most people have this card situated, uh, granted that you don't have a PCIe riser, is you're just going to slide this in your computer like this and be done with. And if your computer has a window on the side of the door, uh, when it slid in like this, I'm gonna just do it over like that. When it slid in like this, the bottom LED is gonna be just so bright and pointing right in your eye. And this is gonna be a big, bright red LED inside your computer. It is very annoying. So I'm gonna be making a guide on how to take both those off. The worst part about this is uh, Creative didn't provide software that can turn off the LEDs. These are not diagnostic LEDs, they are just purely aesthetic LEDs. That's only what they do, so cutting them off will not affect the sound card in any shape, way, or form. Just to be clear with that, and you can quote me on that. Alright, so for this guide, I will be providing you guys with two methods, and you will be needing basically two to three items, depending on what I, uh, method you pick. Um, the first item is essential, and you must require it, and that's a Phillips screwdriver here. Um, I have the Phillips bit here. Looks like I'll get a close up of that actually later on. But um, yeah, just a Phillips screwdriver here because there are four screws at the back of the sound card. Um, second item we're moving on to is a pair of wire cutters. Uh, this is going to be method two. Um, and that's just going to be to snip the uh, both LEDs right off of the sound card. So you will need a pair of those if you're selecting method two. Uh, for the last item you will be needing for method one is a pair of electrical tape. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the electrical tape, we're going to wrap it around each uh, LED. There's two LEDs, so we're going to wrap it around both of the LEDs and see if we can dampen some of the light emitting from it. Um, you might still get some light bleed uh, because you can't actually isolate every single bit of light coming out of it. So you still might get some light bleed with this method here, but this method will still not void your warranty and you will still have the LEDs. All right, so provided that you have all of the necessary tools in order to do this guide, we're gonna go around and flip this card over. So once you flip the uh, sound card over, you're gonna notice four screws. We're gonna take all those screws out with the Phillips screwdriver. These back ones here, attached to the uh, input-output shield, uh, might not come off. They'll just get very loose and you can still pop the card off. They just might not come off like these, so that's perfectly fine. All right, now that all the screws are off, we're gonna go ahead and pull the card directly upwards. Um, make sure that you do this so you don't damage any of the capacitors or fuses. And then we're gonna flip the card around. You can go ahead and put the shielding somewhere safe. All right, and we're gonna put the card like this and we're gonna get into this guide. All right, so once you remove the shielding, you're immediately gonna notice both of the red LEDs here and we're gonna go ahead and use method one. So that is the electrical tape. So you're gonna take the electrical tape here. Um, I forgot to say, you might need a pair of scissors for this actually, you could use your teeth, but using scissors would be a bit more elegant. So we're just gonna cut off about, I don't know, I'd say about an inch worth of um, electrical tape. We're gonna get the electrical tape, we're gonna wrap it around the LED. Starting from the bottom, just slide it over, wrap it around it. It's okay if you still have some sticking upwards because we can cut the remaining off. Just make sure that you get it all on it. All right, and the electrical tape is on. So we're just going to cut off the remaining. Make sure you don't cut it too close to the LED because the top of the LED will still be pointing outwards and that light will still get in your eyes. So let's just cut a bit above it. Are we going to cut off a little bit more? I don't want to get too close to it because like I said, that LED will be pointing out. 
All right, we are done with the electrical tape now. Um, I didn't tape both of them. I'm just taping one just to show you guys how to do it properly. Um, you might want to cut a bit more off on the side. Just don't get too close to the LED because it will be sticking outwards. Make sure that the electrical tape is securely in place all over the LED so you don't get any light bleed at all. And that looks like we did it here. Um, you will still retain your warranty, so that's uh, really cool. If uh, your car does die or anything does happen to it, just make sure that you take the uh, tape off before sending it to them. And uh, we are going to move on to method two, which is actually removing the LEDs with a pair of wire cutters. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, wait, can I actually cut these uh, LEDs off and replace them with a different color? Yes, um, you actually could. Uh, the capacitor is probably lowering the voltage from 3.3 volts to about 2.5. Uh, red LEDs don't require that much voltage, so if you're going to swap the red for some blue ones, uh, blue typically use 4 to 5 volts, so you might want to look further into that because I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I did see some forums, uh, and people did seem to do it correctly and install some blue LEDs, so uh, there you have it. But for this guide, we're just going to be removing the uh, two red LEDs. So what we're gonna do here is take the wire cutters and make sure not to nick or touch any of the other components. Uh, there is a capacitor at the top of the red LED here. It is labeled R78. That is a capacitor uh, dampening down the voltage from about 3.3 volts to 2.5. So make sure not to touch that because that can and will affect the card in a negative way if you seem to cut that. Um, this is a very basic guide. All you need to do is take the wire cutters here and put at the base of the LED because there are two prongs and press and just cut it. There you go, and same for the other side. There you go, the LED is off now. Uh, you can keep them for later if you have other future projects, and uh, also I wanted to mention, uh, if you are going to RMA this, you could theoretically solder this back on and send it to them, although I'm not entirely sure if they would notice it and accept your RMA. So just keep that in mind, I'm not sure about that, so that's at your own stake. We're just going to go ahead and place the LED over here and do the same for the other one. I'm going to flip the card around for this one though, so it's facing me. All right, same procedure, although this is the LED with the capacitor right beside it. It's a very small capacitor, so be very sure not to nick that at all. So what we're gonna do is take the wire cutters, place it at the base of the LED here, at the prong, and cut. Same for the other side. There we go. Didn't come close to that capacitor at all, so you guys should be entirely fine, provided that you follow this guide correctly. Alright, so, um, honestly guys, uh, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any advice or tips or, um, even ideas for future videos. I read all the comments below, so make sure to leave one, it's much appreciated, guys. And, uh, thank you very much for watching this video, um, I had, uh, a fun time doing this. I was gonna do this anyways, cause I'm like, man, those red LEDs are so annoying, I'm like, you know what, I might as well shoot a video about it, so, uh, here you guys go. I hope you enjoy it all, and, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.